I was having a talk with somebody today about the silver lining and why it's so important. And, um, you know, when I use examples, I like to go from the from one extreme to the another. To the other, that way you can cover everyone in between, which is where we all fall. So I'm sitting here thinking about a homeless person, you know, and how they keep manifesting homelessness into their life because they expect it and they're thinking about it all day. And, um, you know, I started to get into it. I started to talk about the silver lining. You know, you got, you got like these, you got rich people and, um, you know, that had a silver spoon their whole life. And then you got a homeless person. You know, say you've been homeless for 10 years. All negative thoughts. I mean, if, if, if zero is the barrier, you know, negative 100 would have to be not being able to feed yourself, not being able to shelter yourself. And, you know, negative 101 would have to be death. So these homeless people are literally living at negative 100 with, as far as their thoughts are going all day, every day. And you got to think about it. These, these guys and girls going, you know, 10, 20 years like this, surviving 10 to 20 years on the streets with nothing, day to day. Now you take some of these richy rich people and put them in that situation, and would they survive? Uh, you know, a lot of them would. Survival instincts kick in, you start doing things you've never done before, but a lot of them wouldn't. So some of these, you know, these homeless people are doing incredible things just existing. If you're homeless 10 years ago and you're homeless now, at least you could say you survived 10 years of the worst mental torture, the worst circumstances ever. You know, I mean, outside of like Afghanistan, all where people get tortured and stuff like that. I mean, like in America, if, if you're homeless, you've been able to survive that. That in itself is, that's crazy. It's crazy, the, the, the ability to do that is crazy. And that's a silver lining, that's counting a blessing. Then how often does a homeless person do that? Acknowledge the fact that they've just been able to do it and give themselves credit for something. Uh, not often, I'm gonna say, I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna say once a year, I'm, not, I'm gonna say none at all. How, I mean, you know, think about it. For a homeless person to be like, wow, I'm really doing good. Uh, you know, I've been surviving this long. Most people can't do that. Nah, it just doesn't happen. It should. It should. And think about the rift. You got zero right here. You got negative 100 here. You got a homeless person that's been floating at negative 100 in their thought pattern, in their life, for 10 years. Every second counts. There's millions of seconds in a day. Every second counts. Is it millions? I don't even know. I forget what it is. I was doing the calculations earlier. Every second counts. You got all these seconds for 10 years of negative 100. And then all of a 10 years. And then all of a sudden, not only do you cross the zero, but you go to positive 100. You found a silver lining, something you're happy about your situation, something you're happy about yourself. So 10 years worth of this, and then a big ass rift for three or four seconds, because the thought doesn't last that long. Giving yourself credit like that lasts two or three seconds tops. If you can hold on to it for four seconds, good for you. But something else will come into your mind, well I don't have this and well I don't have that because that's the way your subconscious works. But 10 years of negative 100 and then you got a huge spike up for a couple seconds and then back down to negative 100. That spike does something. That spike will not go unnoticed. Something will happen that day in your life or the next day in your life, something positive. You'll get something for free. Somebody will give you a compliment. You get something will happen. It's cold outside, you get a new winter jacket for free. Out of nowhere, someone gives you a, some type of gesture. It has to happen. You don't understand, it has to. The laws of physics has to. All this negative, the slightest rift will do something small, but a rift to the total opposite end of the scale something you you will manifest something into your life that is that is it's just not normal and it should cause you to want to do that again and if you don't recognize that that good thing happened maybe you think that good thing happened just because it's luck if you don't recognize that it happened because of that rift then that explains why they're still homeless but i'm telling you now 
catch on to that. That's why it happened. I assure you, that's why it happened. Find another blessing, breathing, waking up this morning, and count them as often as possible, and watch more happen. Now, that's the extreme I use for homeless people and everything above them. So if you're not homeless and you've got a house, you can still use this. Count your blessings. Find the silver lining in any situation. There's silver linings in all situations. You just got to find it. And once you find it, you can't just say it once and let it go. You spend 20 minutes discussing the situation or talking about a situation with somebody, and then you find the silver lining for one second at the end, and you think that kind of evens things out? No. It doesn't at all. Positive yeah, no, thoughts no, are no, 10 no, times no, more. No, positive no, thoughts no, are 10 no, times no, more no, powerful than negative thoughts. No, so, you know, if you were thinking about something negative for 30 seconds and then had three seconds of positivity, I guess it would kind of even out. But come on now. You know? So, you know, just keep a silver lining in mind, count your blessings, and uh, change your life. All right? Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Peace.